let's get into my favorite rivalry in, in, in all of college football. Not even just the SEC, but all of college football. Uh, and that is the Deep South's oldest rivalry. Auburn and Georgia, 3.30 Eastern on Saturday. Um, what are your initial thoughts on this? I think it's a 14 and a half point line. It actually has come down uh, yeah. for for in favor of Auburn. Yeah, I mean, I think Georgia, so Georgia kind of, of course, the, the first three games really struggled, especially in the red zone scoring. Yeah. Um, maybe they're starting to figure that out a little bit with just figuring out their personnel. They went six for six inside the 20 last week against UAB. Still a little lackluster on offense, though. Had three turnovers in the game. I'm just trying to figure out what is Georgia, especially on offense. I think we always are going to know what they are on defense. You got Brock Bowers. Who who else is is like would you consider like a real star on that offense? Carson Beck. I I tell you what, Arian Smith can be because they, yeah. there was a lot of plays that I've, I've seen this year where he, I mean, he's there's they they had a couple of mismatches in in coverage where he was he was running basically just like either deep posts or go routes and and, and like they they would bring him into the slot. So when you would like roll your coverage over, it was like him on a safety and he was like blowing by dudes. And it was, it was awesome. Like, I mean, like, but I think they just missed a couple of those throws by like, you know, two, three yards. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think Georgia's offense will show up in this game. I could also see in this game, some sort of defensive touchdown from Georgia, like Peyton Thorne, just getting laid out much like uh, Cade called club Nick last week. Auburn was awful throwing the ball against AM. Yeah. I mean, Peyton Thorne had 44 passing yards and he got benched in the he was sacked five times and he got benched finally in the in the third quarter. And then Robbie Ashford proceeded to come in and complete one pass for four yards. Yeah, that QBR must have been off the charts. I mean, so uh Auburn's a little banged up in the secondary. I don't know how Auburn scores much in this game. So I like Georgia 35 13. I was asked, I was asked this today on the radio, and they were like does Auburn score? And I was like, I mean, I think the over under on this one is 54, right? So it's like, you would expect them to score. And then what's weird too, is a bunch of models that have come out. No, this, uh, came, like, this, this total came down a lot. It's 45 and a half. Okay. Maybe I just don't know how to, am I dyslexic? I just don't know how to read. Cause I've just... two in a row that I've missed. Um, okay. Back to this game real quick. I know I, I didn't give a prediction. You said 35, 13, 35, 13. He said so 30 to 13. My question is, is Auburn going to be able to score? Because here's what's weird to me is the line is so low and, you know, Vegas must know something. And then the other part is the fact that, like, oh, there's like been like a bunch of models that, like, people run these, like, models and, like, analytics and whatever. They might not know anything. But there's been a bunch of them from, like, respectable, like, people like Kelly Ford and and, and a couple of these other guys that have run these, like, you know, CFB analytics and, and whatever. And they're all within one score. A couple of them are by four points. So... I'm going to go against my gut for once um, and and see how it works out for me. I I, I think, in, like, my heart tells me that George is going to roll, and I don't know if Auburn will score a point. But there's just something about going to Jordan-Hare, so I'm going to take Georgia to win, and I'm going to say it's 24 to 13. Okay. Yeah.